Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the brand new Nike Free 5.0s for 2013. As you can see, it comes in your standard orange Nike performance box. Give you a quick look at the label here. The official name is Nike Free 5.0 Plus. This pair is a size 10 US and the official colorway is Total Crimson, Midnight Turquoise, and White. The shoe itself retails at $100 US and it's currently available in quite a few different colorways at launch in both men's and women's sizing. So if you are interested in getting a pair for yourself, I will have buy it now links to all the readily available colorways on the review page of my website, which you can find linked down below in the description. Now, the Nike Freeze are arguably one of the most recognizable lines of running shoes out there. It has that one major distinctive feature that is of course the Nike Freeze split up outsole, where you have the slits on the side, all the slits in the bottom that allow for tons of flexibility in pretty much every direction, giving the shoe a very natural feel, hence the name Nike Free. Lots of people like to wear these as casual shoes because they do have a clean look about them and they're just very comfortable overall as well as they release these shoes in tons of different colorways so you can always find one that you like the look of and a lot of people like to wear them as performance shoes as well and they actually are some pretty good performers and I will be doing a performance review on these guys on my main channel youtube.com forward slash fujojosh hopefully in the next month or two so if you are interested in checking that out I should have it up just go ahead and stay tuned to the main channel. As far as the difference between the 2013 Nike Free 5.0 and the 2012 model, not much has changed in the overall shoe itself as far as the free portion of the shoe. The 5.0 outsole has remained exactly the same, nothing has changed whatsoever. It's the same Phylon midsole, same cutouts in the upper, same amount of flexibility, nothing has changed there whatsoever. What has changed is the construction of the upper as you guys can see, and the sizing is also a little bit different which I'll talk about a little bit later in the video. Now the upper itself you can see is constructed mainly of mesh with kind of synthetic overlays, overlays to provide some kind of support to the actual upper itself, but there is no physical plastic parts at all, so everything is left very, very flexible and very soft on foot, so no kind of rubbing or any kind of break in time is really expected with a shoe of this type. Of course, they did include dynamic flywire in the construction of the upper, as you guys can see, allowing for a more secure fit through the midfoot, but still allowing the shoe to maintain its really nice flexibility. The lacing system is pushed slightly to the outside as well in an attempt to kind of alleviate any kind of lace spike going through the middle of the shoe because it is kind of pushed to the outside it's kind of removing itself from that main bone on your foot which should make the shoe a little bit more comfortable you do have an independent tongue as well on the shoe itself only partly though as you guys can see it's kind of split or kind of attached right there so the top part of the tongue is kind of independent but it is kind of like an internal sleeve on the inside um, so it does have a little bit of a tighter more snug fit which is something that I'm personally a big fan of as far as the colorway goes this is the um, total crimson midnight turquoise and of course white colorway and it looks really really good in person in the online stock photos I noticed that the shoe almost looked like it was black uh, orange and black sorry but in person this midnight turquoise actually does look like a dark green if you guys can see hopefully it shows up on camera it looks like you can see that it is actually a dark green um, this total crimson colorway is an extremely bright orange in person hopefully that shows up on camera um, very very bright so if you're looking for a vibrant color this is the brightest of the colorways that they have released so far and of course this dark green color here looks really good as well you have it through the laces the little nike free logo on the top the liner on the inside this little tab on the heel and then of course the nike swooshes on both the outside and inside of the shoe which are that dark green color but they're also a 3m material so i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see any kind of reflectiveness in this video but it is a reflective 3m so just keep that in mind of course the outsole and the fly wire is where you're going to find the white on the shoe and it acts as a very nice accent color in my opinion. Um, the outsole itself is the 5.0 outsole, has that 8mm heel to 4 foot offset meaning that the heel sits 8mm higher than the 4 foot area of the shoe which might not seem like a lot but it is kind of like that middle ground between a traditional style running shoe and a barefoot style and this is really something that I would recommend for especially soccer players because they're wearing shoes that really don't have much in, in the way of support. The offset is generally zero on a soccer shoe and it's good to train in something like this just to get that feel for a more barefoot style of running. Of course the outsole does have all these little splits hence the Nike free kind of theme going on here. Very very flexible when you are running. You do have these little lugs of kind of more of a durable rubber material at kind of like the high wear zones which is like the tip of the toe 
and of course the back of the heel, whereas the rest is pretty much exposed Phylon. Durability is really not an issue if you are just going to be strictly running in them, but as a cross trainer, I really wouldn't recommend it because you're not going to get the best traction. Of course, it is Nike Plus compatible, so if you do have that little Nike Plus chip that kind of tracks your um, distance and stuff like that, you can insert that into these shoes as well. I'll give you guys a quick look at the insole too. This is the Nike Free insole, kind of has a mesh liner on top and like this volt color. And it is actually an ortholite insole, so very soft padding foam on here. Um, really comfortable and just fairly minimalistic to kind of suit the overall theme of the shoe itself. That's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes. And we'll move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and how they look on feet. All right, here's a look at the Nike Freeze on feet while wearing a pair of shorts. Very clean looking runners this time around. Really am a big fan of how they look. And because they are always available in so many different colorways, you can always find a pair that you like the look of. As far as fit and sizing goes, it is a little bit different this time around in comparison to last year's Nike Free. Last year's model I found to fit true to size, so I wore my usual size 9.5, but on this year's model they run half a size small at least. So I had to go up to a size 10 to get the best fit in the length, to get the proper fit I should say. A size 9.5 was actually too small in the 2013 model, so I should go up at least half a size. But I did notice as well that the shoe does actually have a slightly more narrow fit through the midfoot in comparison to last year's model. So if you do have slightly wider feet, you might even want to go up a full size for a more comfortable fit instead of just a half size. So if you have regular width feet, go up a half size. If you have wider feet, I'd recommend going up an entire size. Um, that's pretty much it as far as what they look like with a pair of shorts. And move on next to what they look like with a pair of pants. All right, here's a look at the Nike Freeze on feet while wearing a pair of pants. And again, that clean styling really does allow you to wear these with a pair of jeans or a pair of khakis, whatever you want to wear them with. And like I said, they're available in so many different colorways, so you can always find one that you like the look of. That's pretty much it as far as the on feet portion of this video goes, and we'll move on to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for my unboxing plus on feet video for the brand new Nike Free 5.0s for 2013. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to pick up a pair for yourself, I will have buy it now links on the review page of my website, which you can find linked down below in the description. And I will be doing a performance review on my main channel in the next month or so. If you do have any questions regarding this shoe, feel free to leave your comment down below. And if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like as well. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more sneaker unboxings and reviews. And if you guys do want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account name is Vujo Josh. Just like this channel name, minus the two, you can go ahead and look me up, or you can find the link down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.